have for you, the first, the very first question I have for you is: Did you anticipate 2022 being the pivotal year for Star Citizen? I think um, I didn't expect actually that they they that they would have a breakthrough. To be honest, mm-hmm. on the the Sarasite streaming, I mean, I was expecting um, Pyro and server meshing, but you know, the the breakthrough on the yes persistent streaming. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, they talked about it a lot, but they actually that that you know the fact that you know Chris Roberts said like we actually had a, a technology that. We thought it was working well, but failed, and we had to redesign yeah. and spend all this time, right? Yeah. You know, looking at it from the citizen con times, that wasn't clear, right? Like, I'm not right. you know, taking it in a bit, any negative way, but the crucial, how crucial this piece of technology was, you know, everybody thought it was, you know, I'm pretty sure two months ago, nobody thought of this. Like, no. Like, but when he, exp- you know, the way he explained how important this is, right, mm-hmm. that even, I mean, I think they had a generally good idea when they actually would be able to meet this timeline, because they did plan, for like, cargo refactor and things like that, that obviously would have worked. But, you know, the mm-hmm. fact that it was yeah, a confirmation and not a push, right, like, they didn't push any features out in, mm-hmm. in, in, in you know. Uh, and definitely, like they have been with, like ha- you know, persistent hangar and things like that. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, that that's a very encouraging because now he's saying, look, I, I, you know, out of, out of the 12, 12 out of the sixteen things I got to do for server mission, mm-hmm. I, you know, we have made a breakthrough. And he's been, I mean, he's been MIA for two years. True, <laughs> that's true. Because you know that like that P cash failed, right? Yeah. And everybody kind of, I think people that's been around at least you know, for a few years kind of assumed how when they introduce uh, 3.0 and server-side object streaming, you didn't really see the benefits right away. You saw it over time. I think that's what people assumed that, right. you know, the tech, that the tech was done, but the fact that he actually came and said, like, okay, we are done. We are one leg to go is very encouraging. Right. Yeah, I think, but that's that's important for the the community that really knows the project, right? Mm-hmm. As far as pivotal, I think it's definitely piquing interest to the broader gaming community. But mm-hmm. I think you won next year would redefine the game, right? For the larger audience, I think I would call that the pivotal year. Because that's right. when, you know, they can prove by, you know, saying, yep, we're capable of being an MMO, right? Like, mm-hmm. we, you know, it's sort of like a sandbox now. So it's not a real MMO. It is true. And I'm not even going to cover about game mechanics and things like that, but just the aspect of player to player and the number of players. Right. Um, they're getting there. But yeah, hopefully 2022. Uh, to the, the next year in 2023 mm-hmm. when they go to production with 4.0 yeah that that'll be for the larger gaming world the pivotal year for for star Citizen. i think that's when it will blow up right 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 yeah um i did i didn't notice um even before chris roberts did the uh, drop the letter from letter letter from the chairman um, a lot of the big streamers, all of the, not big streamers, but big content creators started playing this game. I don't know what, what was it? What caused them to start playing it all of a sudden? Cause I don't, there hasn't been anything significant that dropped lately, you know? So it's just weird to me that all of a sudden large content creators are starting to notice the game. And then Chris Roberts drops this news shortly after um i think the introduction of um what was that patch they call it's a consequence or something like that right they got mm-hmm. looting 
inventory um you know uh medical gameplay right which are you know you know common across mmos right right and and you know and it, and it kind of brought a risk factor to to the game you know even though like mm-hmm. us that play a lot you know still kind of just backspace and move on but it right. kind of gave you a peek at what what it could be right and when it gets good right we had jump town which was you know pretty good combat action mm-hmm. um and uh, and the the that player to player interaction potential was shown off mm-hmm. and and i think around the same time they they kind of focused in a little bit on the ship uh combat multi crew aspect right a little bit mm-hmm. um the ship gameplay mattered as far as power balance and things like that there's a few things that they did in 315 i think that mm-hmm. kind of gave an idea to the to the player to you know to the to the broader um gaming community that this game can you know you know can be a real game i, I don't right. want to say it that way but right. it has real game elements in it now like right. it's it's not you know it's not the you know like it, it just it kind of right. seemed a little bit detached before right like there was yeah, no yeah. risk to, yeah. you know, like there, there was nothing for you to to lose you know it's an experience but not a game it's not yeah there's not a game to it you know more so 